YouTube viewers and random Green Lantern fans, just doing a quick little video today because you may remember my last review was the uh, Green Lantern Hal Jordan movie figure, so uh, that was cool. And with that you got uh, this, which is the little power ring, which was really cool. But uh, you may remember I was talking about how it didn't really fit on my finger too well, so uh, I went off and modified it slightly and uh, sliced basically a large hole out of uh, the end section of the ring. So as you can see now, it fits on my uh, finger pretty well. Uh, you know, it's not too tight, it's not really clipping on it or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but at the same time, I didn't want a ring in my collection that was essentially destroyed. I mean, you know, it is kind of a rough job I've done there, but uh, I'm going to polish that off, maybe sand it down and uh, file it later on. But, uh, you know, I didn't want a ring in my collection that was like this. I wanted one that was pretty much immaculate. So um, I went off and I got this figure, which is the Green Lantern Hal Jordan Solar Saw figure. And uh, what's interesting about this is the fact that the packaging is the UK variant of the packaging. So uh, if I show you this compared to what I believe is the US version of the packaging, you can see that, um, you remember I was talking about in my other Green Lantern review, uh, how the ring is included in the packaging in a very artistic way, but it doesn't actually say there's a ring included, but whereas on the American release it says par ring included. So uh, it's just, it's interesting to see the, um, the variants, it's um, really cool. Uh, Basically it's the same box, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it, so uh, if you want to learn more about this figure, go watch my other Hal Jordan review. Uh, the back of the packaging is pretty much the same, including the little warning choking hazard sticker over the other figures in the range, which is bizarre. And um, as you can see, there's a different picture of Ryan Reynolds as the Green Lantern. So yeah, that's pretty much the box, and so let's crack it open and take a look at the actual figure itself. Okay, so here we have the Solar Saw Hal Jordan Green Lantern figure, and as you can see, it is essentially just the exact same figure that uh, I reviewed in my other review. It's just basically a repaint, so uh, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. So uh, as you can see, the one thing I do like about it is that his mask is kind of uh, shiny, whereas on the other one it was very sort of matte, whereas this is kind of a gloss color. So uh, you know, that is kind of nice. His suit looks really bizarre, and I'm not really a big Green Lantern fan, I don't really follow the comics or anything. So uh, I don't know what the hell is up with this suit, but uh, you know, it looks really bizarre. Like they've put little bits of sparkly glitter onto it, and it just, it looks really, really bizarre. I don't know why they've decided to do that. Uh, the whole way around there, so uh, that's kind of weird, and I know that didn't show up in the movie at any point, so bizarre. Um, the Basically, the um, articulation on this figure is exactly the same as the other figure, so it is essentially a massive repaint. Uh, articulation isn't too great, as you can see, like... Um, it would have been nice had it had some elbow or some knee articulation or anything, um, but yeah, that's basically just it, so... Uh, it's the same figure as I said before. Uh, he does come with a different construct, which is his uh, little solar saw here, which again, just like the other one, pops onto his arm here and uh, allows you to have him in place like that with his massive saw of doom, uh, which you know is quite cool. Unfortunately, though, the saw doesn't actually spin, and that's really a shame. You know, all I had to do was kind of put a little bar in there, um, a little axle, and just allowed it to spin freely. That would have been cool. Or because the construct's so big, it would have been nice had they had a little trigger or something, and you pulled that, and it would sort of have the um, buzz saw here as kind of spring powered, and you, know, you could flick it around. That would be cool, but. Uh, you know, unfortunately that's not the case. It is detailed quite nicely though, so uh, that's cool. Plus, it also does look really great um, on the other Hal Jordan figure that I got. So, uh, you know, it does fit onto it, so that's quite cool. I do like that. Um, again, it also comes with uh, one of those little Green Lantern Core rings. And uh, as you can see, it's exactly the same ring as uh, the other one that I got. But uh, putting them side by side here, as you can see, they are pretty much identical. Um, you know, what I do like about the fact that I've modified this one is that uh, you can see I've removed all that kind of grey plastic from the back there. And this kind of makes the front of the ring, like the face of it, kind of translucent there. So uh, this kind of makes up for the fact that this ring, you know, doesn't light up or anything. So uh, you can actually see some daylight through it and you can see some of the detail in there. Um, so yeah, I thought that looked really well. And uh, as you can see, it does fit on my finger pretty well too. So uh yeah, that's quite nice. So it's good to have like one of the little rings that's, you know, untouched and pretty much perfect and uh, one that I can actually wear if I'm ever going to cosplay as the Green Lantern. So my opinion on this figure is pretty much exactly the same as my opinion on the other Green Lantern figure. Uh, the articulation is quite poor. It could have been a little bit better. And uh, also, for some bizarre reason, again with the construct, it's heavier than the figure. So you can't really put it on display without it... Uh, 
falling over, which, you know, is a giant shame because I actually really do like the little constructs that they included. I like the fist uh, with the other Green Lantern, and I like this little buzzsaw with this one, so uh, it's kind of a shame that you can't put them on display. And again, there's a little hole in his foot, so uh, it would have been nice had he come with a little kind of display stand that would allow him to sort of stay in place while holding this little construct. That would have been nice. Um, the box is something that I kind of noticed after I did the review um, of the other Green Lantern, which is that with the American release, obviously, you got, um, like, on the bottom of the packaging there in the American release, it says uh, Solar Saw Hal Jordan, whereas with this UK release, it just says Hal Jordan. And, um, again, it doesn't kind of make a reference to uh, the fact that you get a power ring in the set. So, you know, that's kind of annoying and bizarre, and I don't really know why they did that. Like, the packaging for the UK release is kind of crappy compared to the American release. But, um, all in all, I do like this figure. I find the paint design on it very very strange but you know they could have just released this figure you know with the exact same they could have just basically re-released this figure again just with a different construct so it was nice to see them doing something different with it and that was uh kind of nice it is nice to get the little power ring with it as well um again very well detailed too and uh again obviously now i have two so i could um go off and modify this one which is cool so uh yeah that's pretty much my review of this figure so uh thank you very much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this review if you did there's countless more reviews online thank you very much for watching and remember to keep following the nerd Bye bye